want to knock out a quick video review of a team out of Colorado uh, that I've worked with. Um, fun group, uh, great group of kids, great coach. So I'm interested to see this is kind of the second review I did for them. The first review only in half court. So I'm interested to see how this looks. Nice serve. Nice reading, Lauren. Uh, very, very good blocking. Great reading. Um, nice serving. Really nice serving. Good serve. Okay. Lauren, on that, try and open up your hands. Don't just be straight. Make a directional move because she looks like she's a smarter hitter. So go right or left on that block. Nice passing line. Much better. Okay, so I like that a lot. It was a tough serve. You passed it high in middle, so like a two-point pass. And we were able to get a good smart hit. So you hit it off the block. It has one of the lowest correlations to hitting mistakes. Great job. Well played, ladies. Hmm. Now that's a pretty interesting point for me. Um, Lauren, you don't have a, a massive jump float serve or jump spin serve. But I think uh, the ball is coming from the left-hand side of the court. So it's a little bit different for players. They're not used to it as much. Uh, good location on the serve. Great point. So it's something for you guys on the team that are not scoring enough points or aces on your serve to consider maybe moving to the left side and seeing how that looks for you. So Lauren, I hope you're going to serve her again up close to that same area. Yeah. <laughs> Very good job. Uh, in the last review we did, uh, we were questioning some of the serving IQ because the players were missing. They serve an ace and then they don't serve the same player again. So great job on that. Very nice. Nice correction. Serve tough. That's our motto. Now, what's interesting on that, Lauren, I don't know if you picked that up, but both your serves were on the uh, right-hand side of the passer uh, on the first two. So the right-hand side of this passer right here, so on their right. And remember, when the serve is coming from the right, right is right, left is wrong, midline's best. So notice you had two aces on her left side, and then you served it onto her right side, and she had a pretty good pass. So I think that's a pretty interesting observation. So when you serve it, even raise that IQ even more, if you can, keep it on that same serving side. One of the things we teach uh, is to serve players weaker serving side on passing. So their weaker passing side based upon where you're serving from. Looking good, ladies. Now, Kylie, um, let's take a look at that. Look how you were moving in the wrong direction, like you guys were stacked. Like, look at her back at this stage. And you're still moving right. Like, look at the arch in her back. 
So it's becoming pretty clear she's going back. She sets, and then only do you get a move. You see that? Um, so I think you got to spend a little bit more time, Coach Lisa, on uh, what Kylie's looking at. Okay. So what I would potentially do is be bouncing balls at uh, different spots in the court. Also, I think your spacing is a little too far over to the right um, based upon the setter. Okay, maybe it's early in the game, so you're still learning. But, you know, I think you're still a little bit too far over and it catches you here. So let's watch. Nice big step though. Okay, and you didn't quite close and they hit the seam. Okay. So let's practice bouncing balls from different parts of the court, Coach Lisa, and then let's see how they respond. Again, let's make sure she doesn't move too far to the right uh, on a ball that's all the way over to the right. So Jade, um, fresh, you're starting as a young freshman or sophomore, but um, Again, on that situation, remember our coaching philosophy, error off the net on a tough serve. Okay. Hmm. Look where that set is coming from. That's not a bad approach. That's fine. I was going to say maybe come in at a little bit more of an angle just based upon where she's coming from so you open up more. But it's not bad. It's just not a great set. Okay, so notice all their points are unearned so far. They've got, uh, well, most of them at least, they've got a, a passing error and a hitting error. The setter likes to back set, so Lisa, for future, you got to start putting that in the scouting report. You can see her body and how her body turns. She likes to make it a full back arch. Another good hit off the block. I really like that. Uh, so, so pass. That's fun. Okay, that's pretty interesting for me. Look at this. Uh, block his footwork here in slow motion. There's no crossover step. She does a bad shuffle and she doesn't get to where she needs to be. As a result, the ball's on the pin. It's a tight set and she should be blocking a line. So Lisa, I'm looking at this. I think you got to go back to a lot of um, blocking trips. I think what's happening, I'm seeing it already is the outside blockers are not taking big crossover steps. Remember, we also have to read if the set is tight, we block line. If the set is off or if the set is fast, we block more angle. That's a tight set, so there's no excuse that she shouldn't be right on top of the line in front of her, fronting her. So again, uh, blocking trips. Um, let's focus on a big crossover step for our outside blockers. And then based upon what they're reading on the set, if it's a tight set, we block line. Or if the set is, and if the set is off or fast, we tend to block more angle. Um, yeah, that's just a bad job blocking.
middle blocker on that, you need to talk to her. You need to take some responsibility. Lauren, you need to be like, hey, what's up? You didn't front her. So you need to be like you the general of the blockers in the front. So I really want you in that situation to be kind of a little bit of healthy conflict getting on her about that. Kendall, two bad passes by you. You know what I mean? You're one of our most solid passes. So I don't expect that. I need better passing. That's unacceptable in my opinion. I think that's Kendall passing. My view is not very clear, but yeah, it looks like it. So maybe not. It's another time. Sorry about that. Okay, nice play. Let them make the mistake. And notice, we're scoring more points serving from the left-hand side. So I think it's something that we should consider, especially with our players with a weaker serve. Nice setup on the block. Much better block there. Notice the outside blocker was the one that created that for the middle. So the outside setup really nicely. Got in a good position. Nice didn't have to move far, so they didn't have to take a crossover. They lined up really nicely. Big solid move. And the middle came in and closed. Very nice. Good to see. Nice close line. Ooh. Bad luck, Jay. Hey, so Jay, those are important for us because we had a two-point scoring run on your serve. So it's a good rotation for us. You really got to get those serves in for us. Also, it's interesting as you serve both your points over here in this area and that serve that you missed, you got in this area here. So it's almost like you went away from where you were scoring. So bad luck, just try and keep it on the same location where you're scoring points. And if you start going on a run, just make sure you make that serve. Okay, so on that, we've got a big hitter coming out the back row. We all know that hitting out the back row for women's volleyball at high school and even college isn't very effective. However, I don't know if I want this player here, uh, position four outside, pulling. So I would prefer a two-man block up on that. Right now there, you're in no man's land and you do nothing. Do you see that blocker? So you're doing nothing right there. So, and you don't even have your hands up. So it's like, I don't know. I don't think that's a very good play for us. So I'd rather do a two man block on that and cover a little bit more court. Lisa, think about that. Ideally, Lisa, we want a, at least a two man block coming in through the middle on any two balls or high middle sets. So it looks like uh, we're back to Kendall serving. Nice serve, Kendall. Again, our rotations are working. Strong serve puts him under pressure. Mm. 
Nice serve. Really, really nice serve. That's a very tough serve. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay, on that note, with that dive, I think I'm going to pause this and uh, we'll shoot another one. <laughs>